Hello, everybody. Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here for Mr. Snow Gardener's um, last paycheck of June. And of course, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of savings challenges. So let's go ahead and hop into this. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Here we are, you guys. We are here to talk about Mr. SG307's budget number three for June because June was a magic month. And because it was a magic month, that does give us a little bit of extra money to be able to put towards our debt. So I'm super, super excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and start out with his income. He got a check from me. He got his paycheck and he had some rollover. Between both of those, or all three of those, I should say, he had $5,517.09, which means that he had $5,500. And so of that $5,500, we are doing um, three of his bills. One of those is stashed and that's actually investing a very minimal amount of $50 union. This is our internet of 114. And then he is going to pay half of the mortgage payment for August. So we are almost a full month ahead on the mortgage payment, which is super nice. And we just have a roundup of $6 that's going to be going to Australia. And so over here, you can see bills totaled $970, which leaves $4,530. And then here, you guys, we put a little bit of money each month in my wallet for home expenses, miscellaneous, and fun. $50 each will go into my wallet. He's got $700 in spending money. This includes his per diem. Some months you'll see me right, per diem, some spending. So this is the money that he'll need to use if he goes out of town or wants to buy a soda or something to eat or anything like that. So that totals $800. So that leaves us with $3,730 to roll on up into the sinking funds. So auto insurance is going to get $400, subscriptions, 50, garbage, 40, land tax, 40. Now I did go ahead and do a roundup of $10 on each of these to go into the roundup. Sam's Club 100, Pets 150, Home 50, Gifts 100, Holidays 200, Giving 200, Guy Things and Stuff 200, and Vroom Vroom $100. And so this is the first time in a while my husband's been able to put some money into those. So I'm excited that he's going to be able to start putting money towards things that he wants. And so that um, meant that the total with the roundup and the sinking funds was $1,650. That left $2 thousand eighty dollars and then right here you guys for the business debt you guys know that we are working to get this paid off in 90 days he is going to take nineteen hundred dollars um and put it towards the business debt which leaves him with a hundred and eighty dollars and fifty dollars for the piggy a hundred and thirty dollars for rollover and then the roundup you guys we have officially decided to start having the roundup go back to australia so twenty six dollars will be moved into our australia um, high yield savings account. And we are, of course, are restarting our savings for this. And so that business debt of $1,900, you guys, that is absolutely amazing. And then I've got my cash envelope breakdown right here. Um, a, one thing that we've started doing since we are starting to put more money into certain things is we're starting to get placeholders. So we're not even getting cash for these. So in this stack of money over here that you see, I do have some placeholders as well. I'll go ahead and move this off to the side so that I can go ahead and get this done. So with placeholders, we have $1,780 that's going into our envelopes. But let's just go ahead and double check our hundreds and our actually actual dollars to make sure that we have the right amount. These are all placeholders. I'm going to put those towards the back. And so I'm just going to double check and make sure that we have the right denomination that we need. And that's because I got this money, um, you know, about a week ago or so, and it's just been sitting there. And sometimes I will make change and I'll forget to correct it. So we need 110. We've got that. We need 620s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We need 550s. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we need 600s, you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. One thing that you'll notice with Mr. SG307 is right now, he is not, um, does not have the time to do any sort of saving challenges or anything. We're hoping to be able to do a live video, um, one of these days coming up because we really miss doing the lives with you guys and doing the bingo and all of that stuff. But it's really hard when he doesn't know what his schedule is. All right. So that's the money that we're going to be stuffing. We're going to go ahead and start off with my wallet, which I have cleared out because I have got, um, my paycheck ready to go as well. So you guys, I'm going to be batch filming today. You won't see them the same day, but we are going to do some batch filming. So these are the dividers that comes in my wallet. This is from Janelle Ray Budgets. And this right here, we're going to go ahead and put $50 into 
the fun and miscellaneous. So I just take a 50 and I put it behind that divider and the home is going to go ahead and get $50 as well. And so that gives us a little bit of money. Fun and miscellaneous, we can spend that on absolutely anything that we want. If you watched my Money Diaries this last one, you would have seen that we spent fun and miscellaneous this last month to take my kids out to dinner and to go to the movie. And so that was a lot of fun. And it's nice to have some money saved up to be able to do that. So we each put $50 a piece. Now let's go ahead and grab my husband's binder. There's my husband's binder right there. And I have got my little sheet off to the side to make sure that I remember to do everything because I do like to forget stuff, you guys. A lot of my videos have mistakes in them. And I appreciate you guys for staying around because sometimes the mistakes are kind of silly. So Vroom Vroom is going to go ahead and get $100. It is empty right now, you guys. So $100 into there. Guy Things and Stuff is going to get $200. And this is money that my husband can spend on absolutely anything he wants. These are just some fun, silly categories that we went ahead and made up when I had this binder. Um, and this binder right here was a gift for my husband for his birthday from Aaron over at Aaron Budgets Aimlessly. And so holidays, he is going to go ahead and put $200 in placeholders in there. So let's grab these out. So 100, 200 in placeholders. So we're going to go ahead and add that into his holidays. And then gifts is going to go ahead and get $100, but it's going to be actual cash. So we've got those two. So let me go ahead and mark those off so that I know where I'm at. Holidays. Perfect. And then subscriptions right here is going to go ahead and get $50. So we're going to go ahead and put a 50 in there. And garbage is going to go ahead and get $40. So $40 towards garbage. Perfect. Motorcycle insurance, which I forgot to do again, you guys. My goodness. Let's see. I could have swore that I wrote it on the last one. Maybe I just forgot to look and I just I didn't even look. So let me look back at his last one. And I thought I wrote it in there. I wrote it on there, but then I forgot to look. So motorcycle insurance, my goodness. Let me go ahead and write it in on this one and see if I watch my own notes. Cause generally I go off of the previous one to do the next one. So this is just something new that we've added back in. And this year he just paid for the full year. And so he didn't have to worry about it. Um, but then we, he wanted to start going ahead and saving each month and I forgot all about it. These other envelopes at the end are not getting any more money. So let's go ahead and grab the adulting binder. So here we are in the adulting binder. This is not the funnest binder, right? But hey, any money that I have in sinking funds for anything, whether it's in cash or in the high yield interest savings account does bring me a lot of joy, even if it's stuff like auto insurance. So let's go ahead and grab $400 for auto insurance. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. $400 for auto insurance. Got that one done. And then the auto is just me. So some of the stuff that you see in here, obviously my husband will not be stuffing it because it is mine. And I just looked and we're, we missed one of my husband's envelopes. So we're going to have to go back. Land tax is right here. He's going to go ahead and put $40 in. So 20 and 40, $40 into land tax. Pets is going to go ahead and get $150. So 150 to pets. Um, home maintenance, we're going to go ahead and put $50 into there. And that's anything that home needs at all. That's my subscriptions. And then Sam's Club, we're going to go ahead and put $50 or $100 into there. And I just realized something, pets, I wanted to have some smaller bills go into here so that for the groomer and stuff, I've got a little bit of change. So let me go ahead and grab my husband's binder again because I forgot his giving. So let's go ahead and move this. Where did I miss it? Gifts, giving, there it is. And so his giving is gonna go ahead and get another $200. So that is $200 in placeholders. Perfect. And then we've got one $50 bill left. And this $50 bill right here is going to be for our piggy penny. And so this is our piggy penny right here. So we've got our bucket and we need to go back to our savings challenges. Let's go back on to Piggy Penny so that we can go ahead and color a couple piggies for my husband. And we're gonna go ahead and throw the $50 into the piggy bucket. 
And for this, you guys, most of this in here is actually placeholders because we do just keep this in the house. So at most, the most that is sitting in there in cash is $50. And I change that all the time, you guys. I might not do it on camera. And so this goal right here is $1,300. And I kept on going back and forth on this saying, I can't decide, is it going to go to debt? Is it going to, you know, go to vacation? What's it going to do? I have finally determined that no matter what is happening in our lives, this money right here is going to go to Australia. So I'm going to write it at the top. So I stop changing my mind. And so $1,300 at the end of the year can be added into our Australia high yield savings account. And this right now has its own little high yield savings account. We just call it Piggy Penny. And so every time I put money in there, once I get $100, I go ahead and put it in there. So it's usually every single month money goes in. Then, you know, I can add it up and it can stay safe there. And then once this is all done, we're going to do a different version of Piggy Penny next year. So we'll just keep that high yield. And then any of the interest that is in the Piggy Penny, we'll probably just leave it there so that it doesn't get zeroed out when we pull it out for Australia. And so let me go ahead and write Australia up here at the top. It is decided, you guys. Only uh, halfway through the year have we decided that 100% for sure that we are going to be putting this money towards Australia. Now we're going to go ahead and do some savings challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this on over and we are only going to do a couple savings challenges today because I've got $50, but I want to go ahead and do shut the box and we are going to also do, um, our July binder. So I've got $50 here. I've got $30 in fives and uh, $20 in ones, and that is what we're going to be putting into our savings challenges. So we're going to do one round of shut the box, and then the rest of it's going to go into our July binder, which of course is going towards our debt. Now we need to pick new colors for our dot markers. And uh, this blue right here is calling to me. And let's do this pink. So we'll do blue and pink. And we are going to say number three, and we're going to continue doing this towards debt. So what we roll is going to be in the pink and what we don't roll is going to be in the blue. And then we need to get our little dice tower and I've already got the dice out that we need trying to be ready and prepared. So we're just going to use these two black dice today because I know you guys like them because they're easy to see. And we're going to go ahead and start on this top row right here. And we're just going to do one round is all we're going to do. If we shut the box, that $25 will be going to debt. So let's see what we've got. So we've got 11. So we're going to go ahead and do eight and three. Eight and three. All right. And we got a nine. Wow. Starting off strong today. We got a four. And of course, we don't want any whammies. No whammies. Big bucks. A seven. And we got a six. So we have a five, a two, and a one left. And we got a four, so that means we are all done. So we have got $8 that's going to be going in to shut the box. So five, six, seven, and eight. Let me grab my savings challenge binder. And so $8 going in to shut the box, which will be going to debt. And so that is more money that can get added towards that debt. We want to get that debt paid off as soon as possible. Okay, let me go ahead and not forget to color in the ones that we didn't roll because I like to do that a lot. So five, or not five, well, there is a five, but I colored in one, two, and a five. So $8. So that is our shut the box. And so this is working pretty dang well, you guys, with just doing the colored circles on the corners. And so then we're going to also do one in the middle. And so we'll be able to use this one sheet of shut the box five times, which I think is absolutely amazing because I don't like laminating stuff because I hate cleaning it off. So that's just me personally. That's one of the things in my budgeting journey is I have figured out that I don't like doing certain things. And if there's something that I avoid, then I don't want that to be part of my budgeting because I want to keep doing my budgeting. I want to get my debt paid off. I want to get to the goals that I want to be. I want to be financially secure. 
So we've got our D10 dice here for our July binder. If you have not seen the July binder, this is from Janelle Ray Budgets. Of course, she is always a month or two ahead when she's making the binders. So you cannot buy the July binder anymore. But if you're interested in the binders, make sure you go uh, chat with Janelle from Janelle Ray Budget. So three, so let's go ahead and go to three. And then we need to do our heads or our tails. So we're gonna go ahead and do our tails. This is a roll and save. We're gonna go ahead and do a D6, so that's three. I did not grab out a Sharpie, so let me grab out a Sharpie. There we go. So $3, and of course, it looks like we should color the suns, but we're gonna keep it simple, you guys. We're just gonna put a three in the middle there. And so one, two, and three. All right, here we go. Wrong dice. <laughs> and a four, that makes it easy. Let's do heads or tails. One is tails. So we're gonna scratch one on the back here. And whoa, $7. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So seven buckaroos All right there. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to vacuum that since it's so close to the, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do this and get this off. This is the worst part about scratch offs is how messy they are. So five, six, and seven for number four. All right, let's do the next one. We've got number two, 4th of July. And today is 4th of July as I'm filming this, you guys. So happy 4th. But by the time you see it, 4th of July will be over. So that is heads. And let's go ahead and scratch because we've done one of each. Oh my goodness, my hands are going back and forth because I don't know where I'm going. One dollar there. That makes it super easy. One dollar. All right, so we got a one. And let's see heads or tails. So we're gonna go ahead and do tails. That is a roll and save. We've just got all the dice in this now, you guys. And so we've got a five. So five dollars there. We'll go ahead and put that in the front. All right, here we go. We've got an eight all the way towards the back. Six, seven, and eight. And just to make sure, yep, we've got front and back. So let's see heads and tails. All right, so we've got heads. And so this one right here is $5. And we're just gonna put an X through it. We're gonna grab that $5. Here we go. We've got a 10, you guys, and all the way back to number 10. This is going towards our CD for our CD ladder. And so this one right here, Let's go ahead and scratch one of this. This is a $50 one from my friend Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. And so that is $4 going towards our monthly CD. And this will just go towards whatever the next CD that I purchase is. And so I always hope that I will finish it out by the end of the month, but sometimes I do not. This also is our catch-all. So if we've only got like a dollar or two left, I don't want to have an IOU. So I will just put the money back here. That's why there's already a dollar back there. And I cannot get that back in the envelope. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. We have got a seven. So number seven right there. Yep, we've got heads and tails. So we've got tails. This one right here, all of the chipmunks. They took all my money last time too. So we've got four bucks for the chipmunks going in this time. Those chipmunks are gonna be all filled up before the front even has one scratched off. One, two, three, and four. All right, let's see what else we've got here. What else can we do? We've got another 10. Now this one is a choice because we've already rolled a 10. We're gonna go ahead and do one of our little cows for our moon light. And so we do have a $7 cow. So we're going to go ahead and grab the little $7 cow. This is from my friend over at Liz and Lass, just in case you didn't know. So $7 is going to go in here, five, six, and seven. And this right here, you guys, is just spending money for me. That's it. Just something fun. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it yet, but I like having at least one challenge to where I get to buy something fun. And so we've got $6. We're going to press our luck. We're going to press our luck. So three and we've got $6 and let's see heads or tails, tails and the tails is the roll and save again. We're going to go ahead and do a sit, do a D six. And so we've got a one. All right, you guys, that means we still have $5 left. We're gonna press our luck again. Let's see what we get. We got a six, four, five, and six. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed. Heads or tails? We got heads, so we're scratching off. Five dollars or less, come on, five dollars. <laughs> we got six dollars, oh no. So, you guys know, I don't like having IOUs. So, I am gonna go ahead and grab one dollar 
out of the savings challenge money. So let me go ahead and grab another dollar. So that means that we will have stuffed $51 today into savings challenges. And so grab $1. All right, so there we go, $6. And so $51 into savings challenges today. Every little bit adds up, you guys, no matter what you're working towards, whether you're working on paying off debt, paying bills, right? Sometimes you just need to save up to pay those big bills. Maybe you're investing. Maybe you're working towards early retirement. Maybe you're getting ready to have a baby or get married. I mean, there's a lot of things that we need to save for. Um, but the important thing is every dollar, just keep working um, until you get where you want to be. All right, everybody. That's it for our binder today. I'm going to go ahead and obviously put this together while I play my music, but I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping in, spending a little time with me. And if you have made it this far, will you guys do me a favor and put a purple heart in the comments just so I know. All right, you guys, until I see you next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, Grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set